is That's for you. Oh, yeah, それでは始めさせていただきます。それではただいまから鳩山内閣総理大臣、ファンロンパイ欧州理事会議長、バローゾ欧州委員会委員長による共同記者会見を行います。冒頭三首脳から発言がございます。鳩山総理、ファンロンパイ議長、バローゾ委員長の順にお願いをいたします。それでは総理お願いいたします。私からまず申し上げます。ファンロンパイ欧州理事会議長、およびバローゾ欧州委員会委員長と、1時間15分にわたります、大変充実した会談、議論ができたと考えております。まず、日本と EU とは、共通の価値観を有していると、大変重要なグローバルパートナーであると。いう認識で一致をしておりますそしてそれぞれ日本も新政権ができ EU, EU もご案内のとおりファンロンパイ理事会議長が誕生するという新しい出発ができていく新体制の中での初めての開催でございました。具体的で行動志向な協力関係を構築する第一歩であったと、そのように認識をしております。二つの新しい協力を進めることで合意をいたしました。一つは、日本と EU の関係強化の方策、枠組みについて検討をする合同のハイレベルグループを立ち上げるということで合意をしたことでございます。特に日本と EU との間の経済関係の包括的な強化および統合に向けた共同検討作業を立ち上げるということで一致を見ることができましたそして来年の首脳会議で作業の結果示される選択肢に基づいて次のステップを決めていきたいということでございますで我が方としては選択肢の一つとして、経済連携協定に向けた作業を期待をしているわけでございまして、そのためにしっかりと取り組んでまいりたいと、旧政権に対して、新政権はさらにこの国を開いていくという新しい視点に立って、さまざまな困難もあるいはあろうかと思いますが、それを乗り越えていくということでございます。それからアフガニスタンいやソマリアにおける平和構築に関しまして、具体的な協力関係を進めていくということで、一致をいたしたところでございます。これはアフガニスタン、パキスタン、今でもありません、ここにおける平和構築に向けての協力をお互いに行っていこうということでございまして、特に警察に対する協力をお互いに行っていくということで、一致をいたしました。また、ソマリアは海賊対策であることは、あの持たないところでございます。外交安全保障分野におけるグローバルなこういった課題の解決に向けて、連携をしていこうということで、一致をいたしました。その他、これはまだ、入社問題などを中心に議論いたしましたが、経済問題、やあるいは気候変動の問題、こういったグローバルな課題についても、議論をいたしたところでございます。特に気候変動問題に関しては、日本の野心的な取り組みに対して評価をいただき、EU も先進国、他の先進国に比べてかなり野心的な目標を掲げていると。この両者が協力をして、カンクーンでの COP16 の成功に向けて、お互いに協力をしようではないかということで、一致をいたしたところでございます。この後のワーキングディナーで、さらに
、経済問題も議論させていただきますが、東アジアの共同体構想について、私の方から説明を申し上げたいとも思っておりますし、また、北朝鮮など、東アジアのテーマ、地域情勢について、意見交換をいたしてまいりたいと考えております私の方から以上でありますそれでは続きましてファンロンパイ議長お願いいたします Mr. Prime Minister, Ladies and Gentlemen Good evening Konbawa It is a pleasure to be here in Japan Let me think, thank all of you for the hospitality shown by the Japanese people during my days here, not only here in Tokyo, but also in Kobe and in Kyoto. Together with President Barroso, I also had the honor of meeting their Imperial Majesties, the Emperor and Empress earlier today, an opportunity for which I am truly grateful. And I would especially like to thank Prime Minister Hotoyama for his gracious welcome. This might be the 90th EU-Japan summit, but it is the first summit in a new area, taking place under new leadership on both sides. In the European Union, we have a new treaty and new institutional actors, and I'm one of them. We have continuity and we have change on both sides. Continuity provides us with a firm basis and change opens opportunities to take our cooperation and joint action to new areas. The European Union and Japan have a lot in common. We defend, as the Prime Minister said, the same values and the same type of society. We are committed to democracy, market economy, and peace. We are also both facing the challenge of adapting to a rapidly changing world. On this basis, it is a strategic imperative to further strengthen the ties between Europe and Japan and to expand them to a wider range of issues. We need to be not only global actors, but also global political actors, not only global economic actors, but also global political actors. Our collaboration should not only be about trade, but expand to more political domains, and we have to take joint action in political issues as well. The European Union is therefore firmly committed to strengthening the ties with Japan. This summit, I believe, has contributed to just that. The most important outcome is that we have a clear pathway for future relations, both political and economic. We have decided to establish a joint high-level group to identify options for the comprehensive strengthening of all aspects of Japan and EU relations and defining the framework for implementing it. The group will report back to us at the next summit in Brussels in 2011. And we will have, after six months, a mid-term review to evaluate the offers already made and the progress we have to make in the coming six months. We have also made commitments to closer cooperation in a wide range of areas, some of which we will discuss during our dinner. We will continue to cooperate on the key global issues like the economic crisis through the G20 and, and climate change. In this regard, I welcome Prime Minister Satoyama's ambitious climate policies. Japan and the Union will work closer to achieve peace through crisis and post-conflict management. On Afghanistan, we have decided to build up cooperation in the field of assistance to the Afghan police. We also discussed cooperation on anti-piracy. Lastly, I look forward to our discussions on the developments in the East Asian region, including China and North Korea, at dinner. I find the Prime Minister's call for East Asia Community Initiative very interesting. Although Europe and East Asia may look different at the first glance, we must not forget that it was the vision of regional cooperation and integration that ultimately transformed 
Europe 60 years ago. It was the implementation of this vision that made war in Europe unthinkable. As Europeans, we can only welcome Prime Minister Hatoyama's vision and offer our support, experience, and readiness to engage actively in the realization. Last but not least, we will discuss Iran. The Japanese government and the Union share the serious concern about the Iranian nuclear program and Iran's persistent failure to meet its international obligations, and we will work, to, we will work together in the United Nations. We will also express our mutual concern about the human rights situation in Iran. Mr. Prime Minister, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to end with a haiku. <laughs> <laughs> about the EU-Japan relations. The sun is rising. Sleeping yet in Europe, but still the same sun. The sun is rising in Japan, mm -hmm. the country of the rising sun. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we are sleeping seven hours uh, mm -hmm. uh, time lag. We are mm -hmm. sleeping in Europe, but it is the same sun. I read it because haikus, you have to read them twice. <laughs> the sun is rising, <laughs> sleeping yet in Europe, but still the same sun. Thank you. Arigato. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, I first would like to warmly thank our Japanese hosts, and especially Prime Minister Toyama, for their hospitality. It is a real pleasure to be in Tokyo on what has been a very productive day. Our strategic partnership is a key one to which we attach great importance. Europe and Japan have much in common. We share common values. We believe in democracy, and we are committed to democracy, the rule of law, and human rights. We are also committed to open market economies, sustainable development, social solidarity, and also we share common challenges. We therefore have a key common interest in facing them together. And I strongly value the willingness and readiness both sides have expressed today to tap the full potential of our partnership. At the start of a new decade, we need a fresh relationship based on results. For example, it is clearly on our common interest to strengthen our economic integration in order to foster trade and investment. But we have to get it right. This means work together on how to strengthen our economic relations in a balanced and mutually beneficial way. I am confident that with political will, we could achieve significant progress relatively quickly. And that was the reason why we decided to create a high-level group that uh, Prime Minister Atoyama and also President Van Rompuy already mentioned to give this comprehensive analysis of our relationship and to come with concrete <laughs> proposals. To reinforce our relationship does not serve only our strictly bilateral interests. It goes beyond. It is about our mutual interest in this increasingly fast-changing, interdependent, challenging world we live in, as we have been showing, for instance, addressing with the same commitment um, the very important issue of climate change. The global crisis has also put our economies and societies under stress. This means that we have to be proactive and cooperate closely, especially within the G20 uh, tw framework. This year, we have two important G20 summits. We cannot miss these opportunities for global recovery and reshaping of global economic governance. I'm sure that Japan and the European Union can together play a leading role on these issues. Let me also stress that it is our responsibility to assure that all parts of the world participate in that recovery. The G20 brings together the most important traditional and also new donors, which makes it a suitable platform for broad-based initiatives on development. This should also be fully explored. We also discussed the economic uh, situation. And uh, we know the interest there is in Japan regarding the situation in the euro area, specifically on Greece. So let me make a very brief statement regarding Greece. The European Commission 
is making solid and rapid progress with the European Central Bank, the IMF, and the Greek authorities to finalize the Greek adjustment program. The Commission expects this work to be finalized in the coming days. On this basis, the euro area member states will take the decision on the activation of the financial support as decided by heads of state and heads of government of the euro area on the 25th of March and specified by the Eurogroup ministers on the 11th of April. All European member states are finalizing those procedures that will allow them to provide financial support to Greece as necessary. In my mind, there is no doubt that Greece's needs will be met in time. Debt restructuring in the euro area member states is not an option. The euro area member states, the Commission, European Central Bank are determined to guarantee the overall financial stability of the euro area. And as you know, today, President Van Rompuy also announced an euro area summit that will take place no later than the 10th of May. This was one of the concrete issues that we have discussed during what was a very productive meeting. Once again, Prime Minister Atayama, thank you very much for your hospitality and for the strong spirit of cooperation with the European Union. Thank you. ありがとうございました。私の方から指名いたしますので、指名された方はマイクの前に進んでて、まず所属とお名前を名乗っていただいて、どの首脳に対する質問か明らかにしてから質問を行ってください。それではミオンガのクエストの方で挙手をお願い
しっかりとその評価をしようではないかと、どこまで進展したかということに対して、お互いに、これはお互いに評価をするとし合うことでありますが、評価をして、そしてその先に、次のステップに進もうではないかということを決めたわけでございまして、私どもとすれば、そのステップの先に、EPA、の協議が現実的に進められるということを期待しているところでございまして、半年1年と、こういうステップの中で作業を進めていくことができると、またそのためにわれわれとしても相当しっかりと取り組む必要があるということを申し上げたところでございますそれではファン・ロンパー議長、お願いいたします。Which I will be very brief. The most important thing I learned from our meeting,、uh, our first meeting, and we will work later on at dinner, is that is the strong political will to go forward. When there is political will, everything is possible. And so we、uh, established this high level group to prepare the work, but not in a bureaucratic way,、uh, not in a way of、uh, Um, some kind of show or, or gaining time. No, in a, with a strong political commitment to have results within this and a year. And we could review the progress, as the Prime Minister said, of the, ahead of the next summit or even evaluate the progress made after six months. I stress nothing may be ruled out. Nothing may be ruled out, including on the economic and trade side. We leave all options open. I think the main word I heard、uh, the, from, in our first meeting was openness. We have the openness on the Japanese side, we have, are open to discussion on the EU side, and then I'm convinced with those political will, we will get results. And we, I stress it again nothing may be ruled out, including on the economic and trade side. Um, just,、uh, I'd like just to highlight a point that Prime Minister Toyama made himself is the need to look at this trade relation in a comprehensive way. So that's why it is important to include the tariff aspects, but also the non tariff barriers. And this, frankly speaking, has been an important point of our discussions, also in previous summits. The need to eliminate some of those non tariff barriers. And to work for more regulatory convergence. And、uh, frankly speaking, we cannot have、uh, a FTA without these matters being settled. And some of them cannot be settled technically in an FTA. We need to look at that regulation.、Uh, we know that there is a, a real willingness on the European industry as well to come to a deeper、uh, a relation with Japan in terms of trade and in terms of investment. But they are concerned about this matter. And I really want to、uh, welcome the openness that has been shown by、uh, Prime Minister Tayama that precisely thinks that it is important to avoid any kind of bureaucratic thinking about this, but to remove this kind of artificial、uh, barrier so that our relation in all aspects, the economic,、uh, including trade and investment, but also other aspects, can indeed flow and have a new dynamism. Regarding the timing, it was、uh, clearly discussed in the meeting that we'll have,、uh, we expect we have this, the results of this high level group for the next summit, so in 2011, but there can be, in the meantime, a mid term review of the progress achieved. Thank you very much. So, the next one is the EU press. Mir Dickey of the Financial Times, thank you. One question for each leader, if I may.、Um, first, for President Van Rompuy, but also perhaps、uh, if you wanted to both address it. You said earlier, this day that there,、uh, earlier today that there was no question of a restructuring of、um, Greek debt,、uh, a message that's been reinforced here.、Um, but is there the current funds、uh, committed or, 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 or promised by Eurozone members, are they going to be sufficient to ensure、uh, that there is no Greek default? Um, and if not,、uh, to what extent might they be increased?、Um, for President Barroso, if I might,、um, 
you, you've talked about um, a willingness here to, to address uh, non-tariff barrier issues, but uh, can you give us a sense of how much Japan would need to change and which issues in particular um, are going to be important for the EU in deciding uh, whether or not to start a formal process towards uh, uh, an FTA or EPA or an EIA? And for Prime Minister Hatoyama, if I might, um, are you disappointed uh, with the EU response to you um, on this issue? After all, you've come with a, a very new approach, as you said, uh, uh, from your predecessors, and yet don't have a, a formal process towards an EPA. And could you give us a little bit of detail? You talked about the desire to open up the uh, sectors like automobiles. Um, can you give us any details of things you think Japan can do uh, in the near future to address those EU concerns? Thank you very much. So, the first question is, the 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 the question is, the question is, the question is, the question is, uh, I will uh, add some considerations on, on Greece. Market pressures on the Greek debt have intensified, as you know, in the last days, in particular since the announcement of Standard & Poor's of a downgrading of Greece and Portugal yesterday. As I already announced, we will have a meeting of the euro area at the level of heads of state and government by May the 10th, at the latest. In view of these developments, I would like to recall the strong commitment of the Euro area member states at the highest level to take the necessary steps to ensure financial stability of the Euro area as a whole, in line with the principles of responsibility from the Greek side and solidarity from the Euro member states. These are not only principles, but we are in the process of implementing the mechanism we agreed upon. Negotiations, as President Barroso has said, between the Greek government, the Commission, the European Central Bank and the IMF are ongoing and are good on track. An agreement should be reached by early May. In parallel, member states are taking the needed steps at national level to extend bilateral loans to Greece. All governments are fully committed to provide support to Greece to ensure the stability of the Eurozone. And I am, and many others, fully confident that an agreement will be reached in the coming days on a very strong and an ambitious adjustment program which will set a credible medium-term strategy for the Greek economy. And that restructuring in one Euro area country is out of question, out of the question. I am also fully confident that on the basis of this program, Greece will receive on time from the IMF and the European Union the financial assistance it needs to implement its adjustment program and to preserve the stability, I reiterate, the stability of the euro area. Question specifically addressed to me. Um, in fact, Prime Minister Doyama already responded partly. The sec some of the sectors uh, where we would like to see some progress were precise automotive, medical sector, regulations regarding some food, um, general rules of procurement. But if you want a more comprehensive list, you can refer, for instance, to the very interesting work done by the Europe-Japan Business Council. I had uh, a working meeting today with them just before our summit, and I think they addressed the point rightly. So what I want to make clear here is the following. We really want to deepen our trade and investment relation with Japan. The goal here is not to buy time or to procrastinate. That's not at all the, our position. Our position is to have this deepen economic relation and very much welcome the spirit that uh, Prime Minister Tarama put in this economic relation and in the overall relation with us. But frankly speaking, uh, this is essential for us to have this kind of, of balance. 
and some of those issues cannot be addressed by um, integration or uh, uh, agreement or um, economic partnership agreement. Some of those issues are regulatory issues that are very much dependent on the regulation in Japan. Uh, the European business told me that some of these concerns are expressed also by Japanese uh, firms and other um, companies working uh, in Japan. So that's why I think it's very important for us so that we can address the issue of tariff to also address the non-tariff, but also the regulatory convergence. This is extremely important if you want to have this uh, balanced approach. And uh, if you work with this political commitment that we saw today during this summit, I believe real progress can be achieved. And so we'll have the conditions to um, go further in our uh, economic and trade and investment relationship with Japan, a country that is very high uh, in the European, Europe's priorities. So, the last え、落胆したかということでありますが、必ずしもそうではありません。え、今回今申し上げましたように、え、まずはハイレベルのグループを作り、そしてその中で特に経済関係に関して共同検討作業を立ち上げることに合意をいたしたわけでございます。で、この共